Hi guys, this is Cross here Eclipse Gaming TV and welcome to part 9 of my Gillingham FC A Boyhood Dream series uh, on FM 2015. And after a good run of games, uh, four points of the possible six, it all went downhill in the last part, a uh, three game special. So fingers crossed we can turn that around. Uh, we are squaring off against uh, Fleetwood who are currently managerless and on a uh, four game uh, streak of losses. Got a couple of uh, Liverpool uh, loan signings that uh, I'm throwing in the mix. Uh, Darius Waldron is in at right back and Andy Firth is a backup goalkeeper because we just don't have one of any kind of uh, ability. Uh, Chris Bright gets the spot alongside Heskey. Um, McDonald's going to sit this one out because I uh, haven't really seen enough from him. Uh, Eastwood back into uh, attacking midfield and I'm giving uh, Jermaine McGlashan a run out as uh, he's asked to get a bit of a run in the first team I've said yes and I'm going to just throw him in there and see if his pace can help us out any uh, going forward so we shall see so straight into this one Darius Waldron, well in. And a uh, very good sharp save needed from Stuart Nelson. <sighs> Joe Martin just grazing the top of the bar. Clear to Eastwood, to Heskey. Holds it up, back to Dak. Glash, nice ball out to Eastwood, nearly, ooh. Like the uh, vision and the inventiveness, at least. Zane Proctor, luckily offside. I'm assuming the defenders had their arms up in the air rather than trying to stop him from getting a header in on target. Nelson again, very good save, needed to be made. Can still win it, but we need to get hold of the football a bit first. It's been all Fleetwood. Proctor not offside that time. <laughs> Chance for Eastwood. Who uh, slots that into the back of that brings us uh, even. <laughs> I 
Heskey again. Chance to run with the ball. Falls over instead. Stephen Dobby luckily offside and Zed Nelson was caught in no man's land. That's for Eastwood to make something happen and again he's taken out. Heskey, offside. Rattling the woodwork in the process. Chance to go again. Roberts in trouble, could be off. And can we make this uh, one-man advantage count for the final minute or two of the game? That's Waldron to put ball in, and he does. Straight into the arms of the keeper. And it looks like this is going to uh, peter out into a midfield battle. So we can pull something here. Last minute of the game again. Heskey taken out. Spends more time on the deck than he does on his feet. As old Heskey. Should have done better with that against uh, Fleetwood. Who could have leapfrogged him. But it's another point on the board at least. Still, though, there are teams uh, starting to pull away from us. Uh, five points clear of safety. Country and Chesterfield, uh, another point ahead. Newcastle sacked Alan Bargey. Should I go for it? Uh... Don't think I've got much hope in this, to be honest. Um... No, this is a Gillingham series. Completely defeats the point if I go and try and join other clubs. Okay, so uh, we've got cup action against Morecambe. Team that Dover are able to uh, turn over.
Got friend Schumacher coming back from loan. Not sure if he actually got any football while he was away. Might be a chance for a bit of rotation here. <laughs> Sheffield United has sat Clough. Oh dear. That's not going to plan. I think it's going on, I might not be too far away from that. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time we've had that on a uh, Football Manager series, eh? Um, right, I think we might well use a bit of rotation in this. Where are Morecambe in the uh, tables that have interest? League 2, okay. So, division below us. Doggy lost nearly back. Doggy Loft nearly back, return to full fitness in 12 days, that's a relief. Um, right, I think I might try a little change in formation for this game. McGlash and Dickinson, two wide players, bit of pace. Um... And go Brighton Norris up top. Mm. Let's go with that. See if Shimek actually got any games where he's away on loan. Uh, yeah, played three games for Burton. I think he only went for a month all in all. They wanted a bit of cover because of injuries, etc. Made that fateful mistake of saving again. Sorry, guys, I will remember this. It's like a post it note on my screen or something. Do not save the game. No, no, no. Not good for business. I'm not sure this change of formation is going to be uh, anywhere near permanent unless this goes really well. But uh, McGlashan and Dickinson, I don't think they really give us enough to justify using wide players. I and mean, I could maybe throw one out there, but then where would you go with the other side? I'm just lacking in quality in the wide areas, and it seemed to have worked really well with Dougie Loft in the hole. Okay, there we go. So 
So let's get underway. See what we can do here. Not too worried about the FA Cup, but if we get a half decent draw out of this. Iron over the top, nothing to get worried about. Joe Martin heading clear. And Darius Waldron hacking clear. Nelson catching for it, stretching for it, sorry, taking the catch. Calvert in the book. Good ball from Egan and Bright is able to get in there and finish it off. Very nice bit of football here. John Egan outside of the boot to Dickinson and Flick header. Chris Bright in between the two centre backs. The New Zealander is uh, quicker on the jump than those two. Powers it into the back of the net. Very nice. And Bright this time uh, turning creator with a great ball into the channel. Dickinson touched too heavy. And again, it's an own goal. <laughs> Not good at all. I think, to be fair to Calvert, he needed to do something with that because Fleming was uh, charging in, but still. He was tightly marked, and you kind of have to rely on the uh, players to do their own jobs at times. Nelson forced into two very sharp saves. Audrey one challenge with a block. Dak hacks clear, relieves the pressure. Bright sells McGlashan short. Martin, good ball into Norris. His touch is a little bit heavy. Martin, chance to uh, put another ball in. Said he's uh, challenged heavily, but fairly. Chance for Dak. Long range effort.
going to start going for it for the final 15, 20 minutes. In though we have got strength and depth and I haven't got huge fitness worries, we really don't want games like this going to a replay. Chance for Dickinson to run with it and use his pace, stretch his legs. And he's taken that opportunity. He's got support now. Finds Waldron who loses it. Ball coming back the other way. Last roll of the dice for both teams. Final minute and a half for us to try and uh, snatch a goal out of this. Dak to McGlashan, up to Bright. Too many times we've been caught in possession and attacking areas. It's not a lot of difference between League 1 and League 2. You still have no time and no space to do anything with the ball. You have to make very quick, sharp, snappy decisions. You get time in the Premier League that you definitely don't get down at the lower league levels, that's for sure. It's got an interesting um, thing to adapt to, but shouldn't be anything different for these uh, boys. It's no different to what we get in League 1. But it looks like we're going to uh, go to a replay for that, which is a bit disappointing. Would have liked to have uh, got that sewn up one way or another, but never mind. Uh, anyway, you've been on board with Crossy of Eclipse Gaming TV. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Any feedback you got for me, throw it in the comment section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because there's uh, lots of good stuff still to come. Thank you very much.